Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Charlotte. I'm a nursing student at AUT. I love reading and I'm so glad you're joining me today for a little study day at my university library. Before we get into everything, don't forget to like and subscribe, do all of that good stuff, but let's just dive right in. So as you can see, I started off very strong by making my bed um, and then I went on to do dishes. I made myself some breakfast and some um, instant coffee because we didn't have any tea um, in the cupboards. So for my breakfast I decided to be a little bit adventurous and try something new that I haven't ever made before so I made myself an omelette. I know it doesn't look very appetizing but it actually was very good and it was very filling as well and I just used up the leftover vegetables that we had in the fridge so I was very resourceful and I tried something new and it turned out in my opinion quite well. It's not for me to say you So after brushing my teeth and getting myself ready, I then packed my bag. This video was filmed ages and ages ago in my first semester of this year. So the things I'm packing are related to my um, methods of research and inquiry paper, all of the assignments I had to get done. So it's <laughs> it's a, been a video that's been a while in the making. <laughs> So anyway, after packing my bag and getting myself ready, I then hopped in my car and took myself off to uni. So the first thing I did after awkwardly trying to find a spot to sit in the library, um, I made a to-do list. I got out my student planner, I had a look at what I needed to get done on this day, kind of had a think about what I was prepared to do at the library, what I was feeling up to doing at the library. I remember on this day in particular I was feeling a little bit unwell, just a little bit run down, not like at the stage where I was sick or anything, I was just feeling a bit tired and a bit run down. I found out later I had anemia so <laughs> probably why I was quite exhausted but um, it took me a while just to kind of get my to-do list sorted. I wanted to really make it like realistic. After I made my to-do list I then got out my whiteboard and my whiteboard markers and I started doing some Anki flashcards just to do some revision and get my brain warmed up. After that it was then just time to start some real work. So this was for my methods of research and inquiry assessment where we had to go through this article and kind of just comment on it and answer some questions. Um, so what I was doing here is I was making a color code key um, and then going through the article and highlighting um, important pieces of information that stood out to me that fit into those different keys. So here is an example of this key. So here I'm just kind of trying to show you what I've been doing in the study session and kind of how far I've gotten and also just to give you an idea of what this assessment required me to do. So this is it, all of the colour co coding, different pieces of information, um, linking them to the different questions, so quite simple. <laughs> And during the study session I also got some results back for my Māori health uh, growth assessment. I was really really happy with all of this, I think we did quite well. So. So 
the next thing on my to-do list was to work on my fundamentals of acute nursing exam 2. So I've spoken about what I did um, for this exam in a couple of other videos, but pretty much I just kind of predicted all of the different questions that they could possibly ask me and then I came up with an answer for each potential question before the exam so that in the exam I just kind of copied and pasted my answer because all of the questions that I predicted came up um, and I just copied and pasted my answer into the um, assignment online and then use the time to edit and make my answer really good. So this is what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of preparing for that exam. So at this stage I was starting to feel completely exhausted and absolutely shattered so I stopped doing a I stopped working and then I just spent some time with my student planner just planning out you know what I wanted to do the next day and kind of taking things off just kind of organizing the week ahead and then after that I just packed everything up and made my way back home So as I said earlier, at the time that this was filmed I was anemic. Um, I had just found out like two weeks prior to this being filmed that I was anemic. Um, I had been put on iron pills and my doctor had organised an iron transfusion for me. But pretty much I was exhausted all of the time and I was sleeping a lot and waking up still tired. Um, I was easily exhausted, like even just like the smallest thing I'd get tired from. Um, so yeah. I had an iron transfusion the day before this and wasn't feeling much better but as you can see I look absolutely horrible but it did work eventually and that's all that matters. I'm tired again and I'm feeling really sick. I had an iron transfusion yesterday because I'm anemic. My iron levels were at 8 when they should have been at 15. Which is not good. So I had an iron transfusion and the nurse was like, just so you know, you could have headaches, you could have stomach aches. It may not automatically kick in and it could take up to a week for you to start to feel better. And try not to have too much dairy because apparently iron and calcium counteract with each other or something, but I had a nap. Because I was feeling so tired. Woke up feeling refreshed. And 15 minutes later, I started feeling sick and tired again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So while I was having my dinner, I did a little bit of work by getting some lecturio questions done. dinner was actually pretty disgusting like I did not enjoy the taste of it but I felt a lot better when I got to call my wonderful lovely funny happy joyful Nana <laughs> hello hello darling how are you I'm fine oh you're having your tea no stay I I want to talk to you all right then. <laughs> how are you Okay, yes. Yeah. We're fine, we're fine. How was how has yeah. your morning been so far? Busy. Um I was in the show by quarter past six this morning. Because mm. granddad to be out the door at nine. Oh, what um, for? He's got a meeting with the vicar. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got a meeting with the vicar. Very important <laughs> stuff. <laughs> So after I spoke to my nana, I then also called my mum and dad and got to see peaches. So that was very, very nice and it also made me feel a lot better. <laughs> It was interesting, it was the first time she saw cats. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> the cows are fascinating. 
fascinated by her too. I was feeling exhausted again, so to finish off my night, I quickly did the dishes, I then brushed my teeth, and then I took myself off to bed. So that was my study day at the library. Um, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all of that good stuff. I'll see you next Monday with a new video, but until then, I hope you have a lovely day and a fabulous week. Bye! That means you're extra, extra.